Okay, so today we are doing vertical asymptote and hole, and we would like to find the domain. Um, I would like to show you how to do that using the calculator, which is our favorite decimal. So in order for us to do that, let's go ahead and go over a few things that we have to remember. We are doing rational function. So think about a rational function like, like a ratio, like a fraction. So you always have two parts, a top and a bottom. And then we have the x in it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to grab them. We're using calculator today to solve it. When you grab them, you will find the solution. So um, we're going to go through each of them step by step to walk you through. OK, so here we go. Step one, we're going to grab the rational function, which is this example right here. And then we're going to do them separately. Our goal is to find the vertical asymptote and hole. So first thing first, I'm going to grab them. So I'm using decimal. I will leave in the step right here. I will grab this function. Um, remember, we're going to grab them separately, top and bottom. So first, I'm going to grab the first one. So that's going to be x squared. I'm um, activate the keypad, x squared plus 2x minus 3. Boom. It's going to give me a parabola because this is just the x squared. All we're going to do right now is looking for a solution. Solution is where the graph cross the x-axis. How many times does this graph cross the x-axis? Twice. So we're going to crop through here and we're going to cross through here. What we're going to do right now is to click on them and you will find the solution. We call this the zero, the x-intercept, and uh, the solution. So right now we have negative three. We click on this again, the x value is one. What we're going to do is write it down. So what we're going to have is, I'm going to write it on this side. I'm going to have the top and the bottom. I'll just make it look like this. The top going to be um, negative uh, three. And then we have one. Okay, we're going to do exactly the same thing on the bottom. We're gonna grab the bottom as well. And here we go. I have x squared plus four x plus three. The bottom is the blue picture. If it's hard for you to see, you can close the red one so you can just see the bottom only. So here we go. Oh, I typed something wrong. Uh, four plus three, not four. So the bottom is a blue one and they have two solution here and here. So I'm gonna write the bottom uh, solution down. So it's going to give me negative three comma negative one. Okay. If you wanna see both of them, you can go ahead and uh, check this and you will see. Now, as you can see right here, when you look, we talk about whole as something that the same number that got removed. So I write out a little definition right here for you. Whole is the same number that get canceled. So if we look right here, the two numbers are the same. We circle them so you can see it easier. And we're gonna cancel them, right? Because they're the same number, so it get canceled. So we call this the whole. So we have whole, x equal negative three, at easy at that. How about uh, right here, negative one, the negative one get canceled or no? No, right? So this one right here is, is a vertical asymptote. So this is a VA. So x equal negative one. Make sure that you always look at the bottom. This is an important note because the only time you're going to be undefined is when we divide something by zero. For example, a number divided by zero is going to be you know. So that's why we got an undefined. So always look at the bottom only. And what's going to be our answer? As simple as right now, we just have to look for the answer. So what answer give you a whole at negative three and a vertical asymptote at negative one? So whole at negative three, vertical asymptote at negative one, bingo. So B is the our answer, as simple as that. So if you have a hard time with graphing, um, I mean, if you have a hard time with factoring, then this is gonna be something to help you out, okay? So why don't we give it another try? So again, we're gonna try with uh, the two questions, number one and number two, all right? I will take the decimal out to help me. So here you go, here's the red decimal. You can uh, take off the last question. So in this question, before you do anything, always make sure you read the question. The question asks for, at what va x value does the f uh, of x have a hole in it graph? So right, make sure that you write out the keyword hole, right? Hole right here is the one that, that got canceled, the number that can get canceled. 
So let's go ahead and find that number. So I'm gonna grab the top and the bottom separately. So the top is x squared minus four. Oops, minus four. I'm look for the solution, right? I have two. So the first one is negative two and two. I will write it down. So that's the top. I'm gonna grab the bottom and then I'm going to have x squared plus three x plus two. Okay, so you have two solution here. So I have negative two and I have zero. Oh, negative two zero and negative one zero. So I will write it down again. So this is negative two and negative one. In this question, you're looking for the whole, that means the one that get canceled, right? So this is the one that get canceled. So my answer is x equal negative two, that the whole. I don't have to worry about anything else because all we're looking for is this one. So B is our answer, as simple as that, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try for the second question. In this question, we are looking for um, at what x value does the f of x or the function right here have a vertical asymptote? Vertical asymptote is a number that not cancel. Okay, so let's go again, go ahead. We're gonna grab the top and the bottom separately again. So I have the top is x plus four. Oh, wow, it gave me a line. It's okay because this is a linear as you can see this is x, it's not an x squared. So that's why I only have one solution and let's look at the x. So the top gave me negative four, that's totally fine. So I got negative four right here. I'm go ahead and grab the bottom function. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna close it out. So I have x squared plus two x minus three. Okay, at this one right here, they have two solutions. So the first one negative three, and the second one is one. So I will write it down. So this is negative three, and this one is one. Now, as we can see, do we have any same number right here to cancel at all? So technically, we don't have anything to cancel. That means we go into have two vertical asymptotes at this time, that's a negative three, that is a VA, and then one is also going to be a VA. Would that be possible? Can we have something like that? Yes, we totally can. Nothing wrong about that, because in here we have nothing in common. Look, if you have, you can see these two, look at the line, the top lines and the bottom line, they did not cross at all. They don't have anything in common, no same number. And that's the reason why we're gonna have two vertical asymptotes. If you would like to see how this looks like um, with, the, with the whole function, you can also grab them and see for yourself. So for example, right now, I'm gonna grab them. Um, I can show you how it's looked like, how, like how the vertical asymptote looks like when we have two of them. And that's totally fine. So here we go, plus um, two X minus three. Okay, so this is how the function look like, right? Is my look, uh, my, it might look a little funky, but it's okay. So we're gonna have two vertical lines. One, a, earlier we said x equal negative three, I believe. Boom, we have one right there. And then we have another one at x equal one. As you can see, the other, this is what it looked like. Two asymptotes, right, on the side, and the line never crossed over. And that's what we're looking for, okay? So what we just did have you find vertical asymptote and whole by using the graph. What we're going to do right now, we want to find the domains. Will be exactly the same thing. So let's talk about the domain. Okay. So part two. Domains is all the x value except the vertical asymptote and whole. What does that mean? So think about this one. Think about like we are traveling like a little car, boom, boom, boom. You are going, you're going. But right here, we got blocked at this point, so we can't go. So we have to stop, or like the bus. I have to see my first stop, right? And then I'm gonna go in again. And then I got stop right here. And then I'm going again. I can go forever. But this is the thing that stopped me. So that's the first stop, and this is the second stop. So D right here, vertical asymptote or whole, we call that the discontinuity or the stopping point. So all we have to do right now, if we are trying to look in for the domain, then really all we have to do is look for all the x value except the vertical asymptote and the whole. 
There are two ways that uh, you can write the answer uh, right here. The first one you can say domains is X. X can be anything, all real number, all the number in the world, all real number domains is X, but it cannot be, X cannot be vertical asymptote and whole or either of them, right? So you can find that and that is how the answer look like. So with that being said, when you find the domain, we just have to look in for vertical asymptote and whole. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna do this one and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna grab them. Hmm. Ooh, we don't see any number. We don't see any X at all. We don't see any X at all on the first one. We don't see any X at all on the first line, right? That means we don't have any X's at all. Doesn't mean that your, doesn't mean the solution will be a zero though. It's not, because zero is still a number. So in here for the top, we're gonna put none because there is no X values on the top. That means you don't have any solution. Phi is just a number, like think about Y equal phi at the top. It should look like this. But there is no X at all because it's not even touch the X axis. So there is none. But how about the bottom? I can do the bottom right here. So I got X squared minus four X minus 96, boom. And it cropped through the X axis at two times. The first one is negative eight. The second one is at 12, right? So here we go. So I will write it down negative eight and 12. And this one right here is a two vertical asymptote because I have no number to cancel. So this is VA and this VA. To find the domain as simple as that, you just have to draw a number line. So the other number on the bottom that stop you, make you undefined, that's in negative eight and 12. Then domain can be anything they wanna be except the number. You don't wanna be the number. So that's why domains is all real number. This R right here stand for all real number and uh, all real number and it's X, but X not equal negative eight and 12 and easier at that, okay? So that is how we find the answer. That is one way to write the domain, um, okay? Here comes the second way. The second way is also the same thing, but what is the domain? That meaning that I have to find the vertical asymptote and whole. If I were you for this type of question, I'm just gonna put right here domain C V A and whole, but you don't wanna be that, right? So we just have to find the the graph. I mean the the, the vertical asymptote and the whole. So let's do number four. So what we're going to do right now, I'm gonna grab the top, X minus one is a line because it's just X. So I only have one solution. Oh, I wanna click at this number. Oh, this, this is a trap. Make sure that you have to click on the X axis. So the one on the top is your X value. That's what you need to go. So that is one on the top, all right? I'm going to click the bottom. So here we go. I can exit out and I put X square minus six X minus 16. Make sure you zoom, zoom, zoom to see x squared. So you're obviously gonna have two solutions. So find it and boom, I have negative two and then I have eight. I will write down my number, negative two and eight. As you can see right here in this example, um, both of them are what? This is VA or whole. I don't have any same number. So meaning I'm going to have VA and VA. And that's totally fine. It really doesn't matter. All you have to do is looking for the undefined number at the bottom. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to draw the line. And this is negative two. That's in my first stopping point, And this is A. So again, think about the bus again. This is a bus stop. I mean, this is a car. It doesn't look like a bird, but it's okay. I'm traveling and I'm traveling. And I got stopped right here for gas, right? So that's in my first stop. So my first one is I'm going from all the way from here. So that's in negative infinity. Boom, boom, to see my first stop. So negative infinity to negative two. It's going to be a parenthesis because I cannot include negative two. It, it's gonna be an empty because it makes you undefined, right? Because at this point, the graph is undefined. But that's a vertical asymptote and oh, like a stopping point. So it's gonna be a parenthesis. So I stop at negative two to get some gas. I'm gonna move it on from negative two. I'm going to eight. That's going to be my next stop. 
And then I'm going to stop here again, but I'm gonna pick up from A and I'm probably gonna go forever. So here we go. I'm gonna go from A to infinity. So that's in my next stop here. So I'm gonna put a parenthesis. You wanna put a letter U, U mean unite or union, like you combine them all together. So what answer choice are giving you that? It's gonna be this one, okay? So that is how you find the domains and a body glass and top and hold using wrapping. I hope it makes sense to you and I hope it helps. Have a great day. Bye.